and the previous episode. <laughs> so you guys remember that we went on the baby moon and that on the last day, my contraction started as we were checking out the hotel. So it's been a crazy ride. So it was on a Saturday. Um, on that day, I went uh, to see my parents who had um, traveled to the States for to, for the baby's birth. And that night, like my contractions were just so close together. My mom, my sister and I, we went to the mall and I had to stop literally every three minutes because I felt contractions. So I got my nails done, spent some time with the family and then uh, went back to the apartment with Jean-Luc. That night, I slept well, and in the next day, the contraction had stopped, but I lost the mucus plug with some blood. So we called the hospital and told them basically what was going on, and they said just to wait, like, you know, chill during the day and just wait for the contractions to come back. So on Sunday, we just chilled, went to a Vietnamese restaurant, I took a bath, just relaxed. And then on Sunday night, the contraction started again and I had to head to the hospital. Look who's here! <laughs> I can't oh believe this is so crazy. <laughs> and that thing beating in the middle? That's the heart. The heart. Uh -huh. Okay, so I am officially in the room waiting for Jean Luc to come up with the stuff so we can set the mood and the vibe. So in the triage, they said I was four centimeters dilated. So, and as her fingers were inside, she felt that I was dilating more. So by now, I think I should be maybe five centimeters dilated. So after six is considered active labor. So far, I think I'm handling the contractions well. Um, I'm just breathing through them. I had my doula on the phone uh, a few minutes ago, and so far so good. Um, I know that the contractions are gonna get more intense as labor progresses, but I'm staying positive and calm. Ooh, here. Hey. Hey. All right, let's get this baby going. <laughs> so now we're gonna set the mood for the room and then yeah i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like <laughs> So, update, I just got the epidural, um, five centimeters dilated, so, and my water broke right after taking the epidural, and I was not expecting it to be, to feel this nice, it's one of the best feelings in the world, it was like, and just warm water just leaking, oh my god, mmm. Feel like bathing in that water. <laughs> so 
so now uh, because before like the pain just made me so sluggish i was just like couldn't really talk but now i feel like my energy is back so uh, yeah i'm just gonna play some music and yeah I guess things should be going faster from there since my water broke, but we'll see. So I just ate some grapes. <laughs> he did an amazing job pressing my back when I was having the contractions. Amazing. Mm -hmm. So we're getting her little bed ready. <laughs> oh. After taking the epidural, like two hours later, I was already nine centimeters dilated. So then they said that they would wait an hour and a half to two hours and then we would start pushing. And then the moment came and it was time to push. Push down a little harder, go. And one, two, three, chin to chest. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a deep breath and go one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Take a deep breath. Go 
one. Take a deep breath. Let's go one more time. Go, 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 go. One, two, more. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. Good. Oh, outside, 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 outside. <laughs> Let's do it outside. Allez, chérie. Je Allez. 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 Outside. We go pump it. Let's go outside.
So during labor, I had to get injections of magnesium because my blood pressure was getting so high and I started developing preeclampsia. So the magnesium went through the placenta and baby Lily ingested some magnesium. So things took uh, an expected turn when she had to be sent to the NICU and she had to stay there for a week just so they could get everything checked out not going to lie it was so hard not to have her in the room with me after some good cries prayers and a lot of comforting words from friends uh, i was able to you know wait patiently i was personally discharged from the hospital on saturday and on sunday morning we were able to take our little girl home You have no idea how loved you are. Everybody loves you so, so much. We are in awe of you. You have filled a place in our hearts that we didn't even know was empty. We love you so much. We can't picture our life without you now. I can't wait for so many adventures and everything that we're going to do together. You are my baby girl, my most precious possession, and I love you so much.